Investors and traders, welcome to the channel Market Chat Pattern. Today is 8th of July 2023, and I hope everyone is having a great weekend. In this video segment, we are going to take a look at the key US stock indices as we always do for this video segment. Uh, before we begin to take a look, uh, the disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only and it is not a financial advice. I will in fact uh, begin to take a look at the bond market first because it's very interesting to see uh, how the bond market is uh, moving at the moment. So we had done a video uh, last week on the bond market. I will put a link to that in the description. And in that video, we had discussed a key pattern formation and a key level that we were looking for. And uh, we were watching whether that is going to hold or not as support. And that level was right here around 125. That was the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement as highlighted also by this yellow uh, shaded area. So we had an extended ABCD pattern also completing here. However, look guys, where the price is now, the price has clearly broken that for two consecutive daily closes. Uh, this is an indication that when the bond prices move uh, lower, the yields move higher. So they are there is an inverse relationship. So what it indicates is the market is actually anticipating rate hikes. So market is anticipating or expecting that uh, in the future there are possible more rate hikes that are likely to happen in the United States. And in fact, the FOMC meetings uh, minutes that came out uh, last Wednesday, uh, there was a discussion by the committee members where they also mentioned that perhaps further increases in the interest rates are likely to be needed. And uh, we will find out how things will pan out in the uh, Federal Reserve's July meeting. Uh, obviously, does, uh, that has had an impact on uh, stock market as well when the interest rates go up. So that is something which we'll be also reviewing in more detail in this video. So let's take a look at, so that was the chart for the 30 year long bond future. Uh, we are now going to take a look at the uh, treasury note uh, futures market. So this is the 10 year note uh, futures contract. Uh, it's a continuous uh, uh, futures contract, uh, uh, the data is coming from a trading view. And here again, uh, what we have seen is a total decimation of the 111 or 112 level, which was a 78.6% 70, Fibonacci retracement. Also, we have this uh, trend line going there. It has also been broken. And of course, we had on the previous video discussed that the bearish symmetry still remains in place. Uh, now, it looks like this market is going to go and test the lows of uh, uh, October of 2022. Um, it is. It has already challenged the lows of uh, the March of 2023. Um, it's also when the prices move lower. It's an indication that actually yields are moving higher. So the market expectation is for further rate hikes. This is what the way the market is telling us. Now let's uh, go and have a look at uh, the. Uh, the NQ. So this is the chart, the daily chart of Nasdaq 100 E-mini futures. Uh, here, our subscribers, the long-term subscribers, will know that we were looking for um, a certain le price level, which was achieved. There is a slightly higher price level as well because of this black line, which is the ABCD, which can actually take us to 15,640. However, the key um, the level that we were looking for and in terms of uh, our uh, pattern formation that we were watching, and in fact, the target as well, was this 78.6% Fibonacci retracement coming around 15,400, roughly speaking. Now, um, ever since that time, what the price has done is uh, price is actually finding a, a pretty good resistance at that level. And what we have going on uh, as of last uh, Friday could be perhaps looked as, uh, excuse me, as of last week in terms of price action, um, it could be looked as as a potential uh, double top. However, we are not going to find out whether in fact it indeed is a double top till this low is taken out. So this is a swing low. And if the price takes that uh, to the downside and closes lower, uh, we ideally like to see two daily closes. 
um, then you know that would be a confirmation that indeed in fact this indeed was a double top but for the moment it is a potential double top in our books however price is finding a great deal of uh, you know it's look at the, the number of uh, days it has taken where the price is just consolidating here um, however from a momentum perspective you know the pullback has still remained uh, pretty uh, shallow and uh, it's just price is really hugging this uh, 20 day moving average which is in this blue line uh, and price yeah it's in consolidation but you know still uh, closing above 20 day moving average which is above for the 200 day moving average so the momentum remains strong if in fact there is going to be a deeper pullback uh, which uh, remains a possibility just because the interest rate talks uh, is a back uh, in terms of the rate heights is back on the table we were looking for this um, we like to take a look at uh, the constant market symmetry i will go into that concept a little bit later um, but what it essentially it is is that in this segment we have had a correction which was about this much magnitude if we just uh, uh, projected from this stop here um, this is exactly where it went and now it has gone up and testing those uh, highs on the left hand side one more time now the bigger uh, correction has been of this much in this uh, move higher and if we just project that that comes down to around this level of 14,360 roughly speaking I'm going to delete that because I already have this here and then the largest one we have had is of this much magnitude ever since the price has been moving higher since uh, 13th of October 2022 and that will take us down to uh, 30, 14,000 roughly but uh, 13,950 is the level that we are looking at and of course we have the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement coming at uh, uh, 13,650 and look on the left hand side we have a structure high as well which could also potentially act as a support level so there will be a confluence of two things going on here the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement of this entire uh, move higher and also some support coming in from the structure which at one time uh, you know might have uh, acted as a little bit of resistance but uh, could be support now so this is what we are looking at on the daily chart for the NQs uh, let's go to the weekly chart so the in the on the weekly chart uh, this is a little bit more clear in terms of our 78.6% Fibonacci retracement and uh, we also have this 1.618 expansion coming in of this entire move lower I've taken the low till here let me actually draw it for you so if we just expand this move lower the reason I've taken this is it's a double bottom and if you look at uh, the left hand side of course uh, this is a, it moved um, uh, uh, lower uh, but this was a retest and this is more significant in my opinion because the price rejected further lower prices and began to move higher and in fact have been moving higher for a number of weeks so that's why i've taken this this one so we have got these two um the 1.618 expansion of this swing and of course the entire 78.6 percent fibonacci retracement of this uh, entire uh, from the all-time highs of reached in, in uh, 22nd of november 2021 to the 13th of october 2022 lows and what we can see is that for about a month for about four weeks is week one week two week three and week four that is when we closed the week last friday uh, the market is just sideways so there is a consolidation going on uh, there is some pullback but you know it's not that great of a magnitude as of yet but on daily chart we do have some targets but the 78.6 percent Fibonacci retracement the price is not moving higher it's been four weeks so this is something which we need to watch and this is why we like to take a look at the patterns that we discuss on this channel uh, now let's take a look at the ES so this is the daily chart of the S&P 500 E-mini uh, futures uh, here again uh, something similar to uh, what we have in the Nasdaq 100 uh, futures the NQs um, but a little bit slightly different uh, pattern formation okay so our target has been met and has been met for a number of uh, weeks now uh, and the key thing for us was this 44 
50 roughly uh, because of the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement coming in from the all-time highs reached to the lows of 13th of October 2022. Uh, there is also an ABCD pattern formation which could actually see the price move higher to about 45.50. Um, so that's on the daily chart. Let's go to the weekly chart. And on the weekly chart, here we can see for a number of weeks, it's just going into a um, consolidation. Now, in, if in fact there is going to be um, some pullback, so our um, strategy is going to be something similar. That is to look at the previous pullbacks in this run, and then we will be able to assess that how uh, deep this pullback could go in terms of potential support levels to look at so some of the key levels um to be watching on the downside um there is this this uh, this much correction that took place um, in fact the market was stronger so it didn't even fully retrace that but if it does uh we have some structural support here then further levels we have above 42.25 now while we are on the s p 500 if you remember we were also watching for this analog and in fact we were looking for some correction to come in in the later part of june however um the the uh the market has been stronger um it has been you know testing those uh, highs formed uh, as we have seen on the daily chart with the candlestick patterns um, quite well so what we are actually now looking at is in terms of um, uh, this analog uh, that maybe the correction part that we were looking at the correction was going to start maybe it has already started or maybe it inverted so this is something about the analogs we really have to uh, they are never 100 percent the same but uh, they could be quite similar so um if we were to just look at uh, the 2002 and 2003 market um when the correction started yeah. It kind of you know went on for quite a quite some time and in fact it was sometime in august that uh, we had put in a kind of a low after which the market just began to rally so it's possible that we are now also in the summer months it's going to be the month of july there's some uncertainty coming in because of the uh, rhetoric coming in for the interest rate hikes uh, and we have got a fed meeting um, uh, i believe uh, somewhere around the middle of uh, july so that these uh, next week and uh, uh, we're gonna have um, could be where the market is either consolidating or waiting for further clues or maybe even pulling back and there is a possibility if there is gonna be a interest rate hike that market actually pulls back uh, more and uh, what we were looking for was about roughly about five percent correction and we might get that but uh, I do not know we are just trying to follow the analog one of the things is that uh, we had done some uh, rough uh, back of the envelope calculations and we had to come up with 5th of July as an important date to watch initial analysis that was perhaps uh, if the correction had started then we might get some sort of a nice bottom coming in around 5th of July but looks like this part has been inverted because what we see on the 5th of July is here we go so this is 5th of July that is after the long holiday weekend um, that uh, that's when the market actually started to pull back so there's a possibility of the inversion of uh, what we're in in fact uh, expecting but it might be happening in reverse but still 5th of july um, came out to be an important uh, date um, just uh, just some rough calculations we had done time is elusive so you know we're not gonna discuss that too much um, i mentioned that in my previous videos now let's take a look at uh, oh actually let's take a look at the weekly and uh, on the weekly we have uh, you know it can go up to about 45 uh, 50 as well okay so let's take a look at the russell um russell 2000 it is in fact doing nothing uh, it's just stuck in there sideways uh, but moving lower as well um just 200 moving average here so just nothing uh too much to look at after uh, you know this abcd uh, pattern completion the market has just gone down and then sideways and um, it, it just began to consolidate here got, got out of that and looks like now it's just going back into this uh, trading range and it's possible it just it could retrace up to the uh, midpoint of that and we have this uh, rising trend line here maybe it just goes and uh, um, touch that one more time now let's take a look at the e mini dow jones uh, futures uh, this one is uh, quite interesting um, because, of course, this is really a big consolidation or the market is in a 
trading range for a long long time and uh, there was a possibility that uh, perhaps it's going to go and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, challenge these highs here uh, but looks like uh, it might be uh, putting in a double top formation if it takes these lows out coming in around uh 33,800 roughly um then uh, yeah that will be a confirmed double top formation around here um and then we can see the market to pull back and then we have a rising trend line here so guys uh, uh we uh, this is what we are watching apologies the video uh has uh, become uh, a little bit longer than uh, what i wanted it to be so apologies for that uh thank you very much for watching the videos uh, and if you like our analysis then please do subscribe to the channel and if you like um, how we were looking at the market using pattern recognition uh, fibonacci ratios um, expansions of fibonacci numbers extensions projections uh, please uh, do uh, like the video a thumbs up um, it's just an indication for me that people find uh, educational value in the videos and it just encourages me to keep on making more for you guys so thank you very much good luck and good trading